back. I got this thing in my cup. This got me drinking, yeah. Trying to remember it all. Put on my thinking cap. She had on checkup or pants. Think they was taking black. I told my boy I'ma get a bet. You want to fail with me? what up what up what up it's your girl free i'm back with another vlog it's vlog seven um quarantine car files right now i'm not in the car though i brought to y'all a special vlog from the studio i got the class clowns with me tonight um remember i told you guys i was gonna bring you guys like bakersfield talent and a lot of different Bakersfield people that do shit in the town and been infected by the quarantining and all the coronavirus bullshit that's been going on. So definitely wanted to get some other people besides rappers on my vlog to see what I can document, what they've been doing, how they've been living and not living and fucking and not fucking. You know, it's always about fucking, always about fucking. But so I got the class clowns with me to here today. And I just basically am gonna interview them and yeah, they're gonna talk to y'all, let y'all know what's up, so. Vlog, I'm about to introduce the class clowns. So you guys can come out. <laughs> and then they was gonna do extras. Look at them acting like this. <laughs> We live, we live right now. Hey, hey, hey. live from Miss Free's World. Okay, let's get intros started. So let's start with you. It's your boy Kyle Mitchell, AKA K Mitch. Okay. Uh, it's your boy, uh, Demari, a.k.a. DJ, if you can't say that. And it's Kyrie Kennedy. A.k.a. what? Kyrie Kennedy. Somebody <laughs> feature baby daddy, that's all. Oh, oh, you feel me? You feel me? I gotta give him a little sauce, okay? Yeah, so. fool. We're leaving it in, all quarantine, huh? Thank okay. you guys so much for coming out the house and actually making this video with me. I know everybody's been protecting themselves and staying to themselves and not talking to their mama and just, you feel me, like, not doing nothing because niggas are so scared about what's what with this coronavirus. But I want to get an opinion of, on a few subjects from all three of you guys on what you feel and how has it been affecting you guys. I know you're comedians. You guys do skits, vlogs, stand-up comedy, all the shit, just like me. I don't do stand-up comedy. But, you know, I might have to do it, take niggas' careers <laughs> one time. But the skits and the vlogs part, I can definitely relate to. Because it's like, it's hard to make videos with people when no one wants to be around you. Because you might have a virus, you might give it to your parents. Whatever the case is. So, let's start with Kyrie. How has it been affecting you as far as, like, what you do? What do you do on a daily, as, like, as far as your crowd goes? Well, uh... <clears throat> Well, what I usually do, um, um, I hit them up uh, because we we have a lot of stuff we've been working on. We've been doing this since like, well, we've been doing class clowns for a couple months now, but we have a subgroup, which is the main group called Finesse Entertainment. We've been doing this for like three years. So what I usually do is my daily routine. I call him, see what we're going to film. You good? <laughs> Well, let me hit it since he's me. Yeah, she's doing what she was doing. <laughs> Go ahead. Is that good? Yeah, we straight. No problem. But anyway, what I do is I hit them, and it's basically, yo, what we doing today, we're working on, we filming, because as bad as it seems, it's, this is a blessing and a curse for us, because usually we don't have a lot of time, everybody's working, mm -hmm. schedule's conflicting, so now with the quarantine, and, you know, it's not a good thing that we're in a pandemic, but it's a good thing for us because now we can push content. Mm -hmm. We get a lot more done. So that's usually how my day goes. It starts at 7 and it ends about 12, 1 o'clock because we just work. So quarantining and the coronavirus has actually benefited you. Right. So basically it's, it's, it's just just stay fucking with the people you've been fucking with, if I can say that. Stay and the one them. question that I have not asked anyone since I've started these interviews, which I don't know how it slipped my mind. Do you know anyone with the virus? No, I don't. That's contracted. No, I don't know anyone okay. with the virus. I haven't asked anyone that yet. Coronavirus, right? Yes. Yeah, no, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Anything else? Well, Lydia, uh, he might know your daddy. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know nobody's daddy. Really. Right. I don't know nobody's daddy. You don't know? Him? You got two movies? I don't even know my own daddy, so you can't <laughs> So it's basically just been not a bad no, response I mean, for you. We just, I mean, it's it's a tragedy what's going on, and I do, I don't want to say like, 
fuck what's going on and going what's going on. I do want to say be safe, wash your hands, stay clean. But in our case, let me just say, not speak for everyone, but in our case, this has been kind of a blessing because 2020 started out as a big year for us. And so with this happening, as unfortunate as it is, right. it's put us in a lot of different positions to get work done and to push content. Right. Okay, so how do you feel? Do you agree with him on that? Do you do the same um, thing as him? Like, kind of give a little input. Uh, so so background. basically how I viewed it when it started was we got people right where we want them, which is at home. All you can do is be on your phone. And view us. You right. got you to gotta get Definitely. more. So what we couldn't do was was take this time for granted. It is dangerous what we do because we are around each other. But whereas a lot of people saw the quarantine as an excuse, we saw it as like an opportunity. So now we're trying to be like super consistent. Like all y'all just like sitting in the house, like hoping to laugh, like hoping to laugh, hoping to hoping to smile, whatever. It's a lot going on going on in the world that's negative. So we just saw an opportunity to bring some positivity and Honestly, it could have came at like a better time because, like you said, we already had to start off twenty twenty like so good, just from like the first right. show we all did together to to this point now, and it was like we had so much momentum, we couldn't allow the coronavirus and being quarantined to just stop that momentum. Because truth be told, none of us are in a position to where we don't have to work no more. Right. So we couldn't we couldn't allow. Especially something that we don't know when it's going to end. Right, so, so it's like it kind of told you you can't go to work. Yeah, so like do we just say we're just going to sit here and just hope this shit is over? Or do we say, you know what, it is risky, but we're here to take risks. Right. We got we to do it regardless. That's right. Right. So in that aspect, do you guys feel like it's, so you don't feel like it's fucked with your money then? Because I interviewed earlier um, <coughs> in the week DJ Ashby. You guys know her. She's shout, a out very, Ashby. Shout, shout out to Ashby. Shout out to Ashby. She's a very well known yeah. DJ. And yeah. she does a lot of parties here in our city in LA. She's also, you know, a rapper's deep personal DJ, a few other people's DJs, and it's been fucking her money. Oh, yeah. So, do you guys feel like, as far as like comedian shows and shit like that, like that, it's fucked y'all money up? It's, it's messed it up in that aspect, but when, when that happens, you got to find other ways. So, I feel like only. Like when they say only the strong survive, that shit is real because you're going to go through some shit. It's just that you got to find a way to maneuver around that. So where we can't do regular shows, we decided like, let's do a, let's do a quarantine show. Like, right. We still got to get these, because at the end of the day, we're here to make y'all laugh. So we still got to get these jokes off. So, right. So we went live on Facebook and on Instagram and we just did an actual show. It was only us in the room, but we did a real show just to give people some type of content. Right. And then that'll leave them when the quarantine is over. That'll have them already like put up on the tee for us for us to just go ahead and do a real show and then knock it out the park again like we did the first time. Right. Because I 100% agree with that. Like what people don't understand about real life funny people, like I wake up every single day and I put a lot of bullshit on my Instagram and I be saying a lot of fuck shit, but nine times out of 10, I mean every word of it. <laughs> and my real friends know that shit about me. Like I'm dead ass. So to a comedian, like a real life funny person, whether you're doing it for money or you're doing it because you in front of cameras or you're doing it because you really love this shit or you're doing it because you're clowning with the homegirls, like to a real comedian, the saddest shit is going to be funny to you. I've been laughing the whole time this has been going on. And I hate to say it like that because people really are dying. And I feel bad for the people that have buried people that they knew and shit like that. But sometimes you got to find some, like, if we don't make y'all laugh, who the fuck going to make y'all laugh? Because we can't all be tripping. We can't all be burning the city down, like, looking for groceries and shit. I got to laugh. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I got to laugh at someone's toy boy. But if y'all sell the stamps... Oh God! Because I, I need to mm -hmm. look for groceries. <laughs> you hear? If you sell the stamps, like you feel me? What about you, Kyle? Do you feel like it's affected you, money wise? I know you got kids. Yes. You, you, I know you don't want to be with them every day, and they've been at the house. Nigga, we all got kids. Don't just single me. Oh, I got, I got, oh wait, hold on. We, we all got kids. I, got kids. I was gonna let. Okay, you I guess I'm the only yeah. one single parent here. Just no kids. Me, <laughs> single, no kids. <laughs> Me, I, mean, um, I didn't know y'all. Oh, wait, I did forget you had kids. No, I you, you, you got kids. I didn't know you did. Boy, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah I got two in the I got two in the I got two in the Don't do the possible. Listen, ain't no possibility. <laughs> I thought you said possible. Like, you had a baby, like an ugly baby. Like, one of them was like, like a possum. I don't, I don't make those. Not my kids. But see, the difference what I meant by that, Kyle, no, no disrespect, is Kyle. 
like publicly puts out there that he's a dad. He be fucking. So he's out. His kids are out there. Like you know, it's it's something public. So of course. That's not saying y'all don't, but <laughs> I just I just don't. I just didn't know. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna clean. I'm not gonna clean it the fuck up. <laughs> Take care of your kids. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, but shout out to the squad. Every person you see sitting right here is great fathers. I, I can vouch for that. But um, me, because you niggas need a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Free is wild, right? So, I just have to know: um, Have you guys been sexually active <laughs> since the quarantine? Have y'all been getting any poo nanny, scratching the cat, you feel me, putting the donut in the hole, <laughs> horseshoe like on the I'm top? Allergic, I'm allergic to cats. Slams your own. I don't even like. I got diabetes. I don't even like. Listen, I don't even really like. like yeah, yeah, I don't what have y'all, have you guys been getting any action because of the quarantine? Okay, are any of you guys in serious relationships? Mm. Let's start there. See. Do you guys live with your significant others? Because that doesn't count. We don't want to hear those boring stories. If you're nah. boring and happy, we don't want to hear it. Go be married with two kids. Nah, ain't nobody here married with two kids. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, two kids? Two kids, yes. Two kids, yes. Two kids yes. Married? Mm. Nah. Okay. So, any serious relationships? I mean, what's serious? Do the woo niggas is gonna not have a home tonight. But let's get it going. Yeah, yeah, Demari, what's serious? Do you live know. with your significant other? No. Nobody here does that. Nobody. <laughs> also, they're not familiar with such traits. Okay, so. No, no. We're, we're, we're not tenants. We're not tenants. <laughs> Nobody here lives with their significant other, so therefore you guys. Haven't been quarantined. I feel like you're trying to ask if we've been fucking since we've been locked in the house. Yeah, okay. yeah, but have you guys been quarantined with a female that you live with? Because that don't count. Because then, if, if that's the case, we may know nobody. Does. If you follow me, you seen who I be quarantined with. Who your daughter? What's that? Whoa. Hey, you have now see now y'all in my business. All right. Well, nobody, nobody <laughs> said that's that's for you and Sunday to decide. No, <laughs> no answer your question. Answer your question. Answer your question. Um. We we just spend more literally most of our day here at all. We work. We work Shut somewhere. up, nigga. We don't want to hear your boring ground. <laughs> no, that's, li that's literally what it is. Is she wants to go do it. Is yes. you waiting to whistle, nigga? Yes. Fuck it. I'm jacking off of y'all. What is my search history, nigga? Hit. Okay, they finna start OnlyFans now. I I. What about you, Chocolate Thunder? Chocolate you over here selling porns and stuff. Mm. Well, you got a fans OnlyFans. Who wants to see your OnlyFans? Who wants to see a hey, little hey. <laughs> Cats out the bag down below. <laughs> you want to catch out the bag. But no, nah, we don't we we really don't be doing nothing but this. Like when it comes to like, first of all, we all celebrate. I want you to know that. Kyle fucking so he laughing like no, no, Kyle, no, 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 real, real talk. We had a we had a real conversation as class and we was like, we really <clears> want this thing to take off. We all gotta be celibate. We can't be fucking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, the girls are gonna talk. Was that? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? It's like. What this. do you mean? This was a group. This okay, hey, y'all don't get caught. That's what. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 let me let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. When you go fishing, right? Mm -hmm. Talk to him. You got choices. You can go on the raft or you can go in the canoe. Mm -hmm. If you go in that canoe and it starts sinking, guess what you want to do? Swim. You have to call Peter Pan. That's it. Ooh, that's what you're gonna that 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 You know why? And this will find out. That's some ism. This why? That's some ism. Because I lost boys. Yeah. Mm. And what they didn't tell you was mm. Janae, Tupac is alive. No, Janae Iko is really Tinkerbell. That's Pussy Fairy. You didn't put them together. Spoiler alert. You didn't put them two together, did you? No. <laughs> so what he's saying is when you buy groceries, sell your toaster. Next question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means that there's no cat scratching going on. Kyle fucking. I didn't ask Mr. K. Mitch. No. K. Mitch, are you fucking? I'm celibate. Mm. I sell a bit of this dick. Okay. <laughs> 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 so now we know who got the only fan no. enjoying. Okay. No. No. Okay. No. What's yes. the crazy message that you guys have gotten during quarantine from Whoa. a female that wanted to fuck with y'all? Okay. This I, is a question I haven't asked you yet, so I want yeah, to know. You got that story? I got a good story. I had a, uh, well, we had a female that wanted the entire crew. Girls too? Yes! 
Everybody. You didn't tell me this story. Look, Demarie, yeah. they left you out because you fine. You see how they do? Oh, uh, no, she wanted to be light skinned nigga. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't really. Yeah. She well, wasn't why really. the fuck am I doing the interview then? Y'all should have brought. Never mind. No. It wasn't me, nigga. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so. Nah, but, um. I beat your ass. You knew it wasn't me. I just made you say. He didn't say. What the name? But, um. We, 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 don't get fucked up. We've, uh, had some. We, I had some crazy yeah. shit since me. What you got next, man? Because I know you had some shit. <laughs> I had some crazy shit since me, man. It was a, it was a, it was a woman. I don't know who she is. She just followed me, and she was like, uh, I thought it was one of those spam joints, and I don't be answering that because I'm Hollywood, so I don't be answering that shit. But <laughs> she sent it to me, and I thought it was spam. She was like, No, I, I went to the comedy show. I was like, Oh shit, okay, I appreciate you, thank you. And um, the next video was some ass shaking. In a mask. Oh, you <laughs> loved it. No, no, I deleted it. Because I don't need that type of energy in my life. See, what I'm on right now dick. is a path to righteousness. <laughs> no, I ain't on dick. I love pussy. I love pussy so much that if, let's just say, I didn't need that type of energy. But okay. you know what I did? I did what niggas do. Hey, my nigga, look. On Valentine's Day, on Valentine's Day, he bought, he bought, on Valentine's Day, he bought pussy. Some teddy bears and some chocolate. That's how much he love pussy. I want pussy. And, 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 what, and what you what you get? How much do I love pussy? No, what you what crazy messages you get? Mm. I don't get no crazy messages. You know what I'm saying? This nigga. Somebody that look like a crazy lion. Hey, Someone right now. Real shit. Real shit. Who is fucking boring? No, hey, no. Every time I bitch, I'm coming. Tell me why is he about to? Tell me why he about to go to a real story. Every time I, this nigga's name is Chocolate Daddy. I've had at least 20 <laughs> women be like, who's chocolate, who's chocolate Daddy? And you see, she just called him Chocolate Thunder. He chocolate something. That's Chocolate, chocolate. Daddy. He's known as Chocolate Daddy. You know what? You, you, I'm going to tell you the real reason why that is. I'm literally the only dark skinned person in Class Clowns. Not well, not person, you dark. dark. Dark skinned male in Class Clowns. Was, was Ryan, Ryan kind of Ryan dark. dark? Ryan is like, Ryan like a fat you. Ryan like upper mid tone. Upper mid tone? What is that? He like in the middle, but on the upper side of the middle where he was almost dark, but he was like. Okay, we're back. <laughs> These niggas got me fucked up. We have to take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit though. So, Kyle, back to you. Um, what crazy text messages have you gotten? You feel me? Any crazy stalker females? You know what's crazy? My shit been dry because most of my bitches be at home with their husbands, so. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? You can't say that. <laughs> what? Somebody has been watching this interview. But guess what? Hey, uh, the guy at the show you went to. The show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the show you took me to. The, the Kyle guy. You don't know him outside of. Look, Guadalupe. You're, you're I thought Why should I be Hispanic? Hispanic? Guadalupe? <laughs> she think you only like Hispanic. We know. We know Kyle's only like Mexicans. Wow. That's been a rumor for years, huh? She didn't get an excellent motherfucker. Man. I don't discriminate. I like who I like. Exactly. Well, that'll be on the Everybody blog. beautiful. Coming to you on the Lander vlog. I like I like. <laughs> when no one's around. What about you, white girls? Hmm. Uh, I just <laughs> think that, you know what I'm saying? You can find something beautiful on every woman. You know he know likes white girls. What? what about you? No, we're not going to go back. No, you, can't, you can't just say you like white girls. I like, I like black girls. They, they be around. They, they tell you. I'm just, I'm just diversity. This world need diversity. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. They don't do that. Don't do it. Mixing the races. Nah, I just like beauty. That could be, that could be dark skin, light What's skin. Your <gasps> mine, my, my baby's just Puerto Rican. <laughs> Why are you stuttering, nigga? My, mine? Who's my baby, nigga? My baby's just Puerto Rican and Filipino. Okay. And in his defense, he didn't stutter. He just looked like Johnny Hill. So nigga, I, I, mean, I just like, I just if. Every, you know, the race don't matter. We just, if you're attractive, that's cool. What about you? Yeah, because evidently you've been ignoring two light skinned niggas up here. Oh, wow. here we go. What? Plot twist. What? <laughs> what? We not doing Well, I mean, yeah. since you're wondering, you know, I do love my beautiful black men. They're a different version. Yeah, because I'm black. Yeah, I'm black, black as hell, too. I'm black, too. No. I, you know, I don't discriminate against all races. I like all races. Um, preference. Chocolate. Mm. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything though, because I like them darker than him. See, I like it them so dark. Really you go outside, darker. you barely can see the nigga. So you're a bit with a white You gotta say, is that whoopie whoop over there? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Mm. 
that make that? I, I, really I see some shoes and some eyes. This is an alley with a shirt on. No, see, I'm dark skinned. She like blurple. Oh, she like my I like pitch. She like my <laughs> That's what I like, pitch, nigga. So have you been with a white dude? Hell no. Mm. So there, there is a, a level that you won't, the line you won't cross. I mean, I didn't say hell no like that. Like, no. I didn't say it like that. I'm just, I've never dated a white man. I didn't say you know, it was Trump fucked it up. That's what it was. We're going to say that Trump did it, grabbing pussy. So that's why she don't really. I'm trying to agree. Thank you. <laughs> a Mexican? Been with a Mexican? What? Have you been with a Mexican? <laughs> no, I've never been with a Mexican. So there, therefore, you only fuck with black dudes? I. You, you can't say you don't. Have you been I've with I've been one? with one white guy. There's my confession. Okay. <laughs> that's out the bag. That's out the bag. She was going to let this nigga be going for that. Would you cheat with us? It was an accident, nigga, or what? Louisiana. And he had an accent. Oh, black one. She was the one made of Belize. And he was mixed. Black one. And he drove a Maserati. She's like a mother's smart type nigga. That's what it is. Yeah, right. And you feel me? He was a nigga. Why you got to do it? He was white. I got to say it. Why he got a Why he got an ice ice shot? Why you trying to make him like Gary Owen? Don't know. Don't You fuck with a white dude from Louisiana with an accent, and they talk like a little firefly from Princess in the Pooh. Oh, Princess Piano. Damn, bye. Y'all both saw him out. Oh, Mike, he might be watching. Shout out to the Louisiana white dude. Shout out to Mike. 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 Shout out but they got Louisiana crawfish. They got crawfish in Louisiana, gumbo. <laughs> uh, what's that? What else in Louisiana? Beignets. 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 The Saints. Beignets. The Saints is in Louisiana. The Superdome out there. Superdome. Superdome. The white guy that fucked Freedom. Mm-hmm. He's out there for sure. That's the biggest thing <laughs> out there. He be at Mardi Gras slinging dick. All the black women. Slinging dick and throwing dick. Fucking everything. That's what he doing. Down by the body. He white when he need him though. Hey, uh, I got a Maserati. He didn't mean carrying the beans like this, but fuck that. 90,000. 90,000. Then he get in there and like, you this not black, bitch. That yeah, nigga be telling me, he be telling bitches he Creole. He got me fooled. I was lying to you. The question. So, uh, I was lying when so they tried to be white. So, so lace, 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 lace the followers. Yeah. Um, being that you've been with a, a white guy and a lot of uh, African American women have it, um, <laughs> was it good? Yeah, actually. Or did he, or did he hump like he was scooting in a chair? Um, <laughs> you know, I. He was secret not, and you know what? Y'all do that, so don't be mad at him because y'all like niggas do that. But <laughs> oh lord, <laughs> we won't get into details. <laughs> Dude's like, butt. No. Why do you like butt? No. Yeah. Why do you drive? He didn't get nothing. Why do you drive? You said butt. Why do you drive? 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 Why do Y'all know me. I'm notorious. I heard for that. <laughs> getting head, kicking his ass. Ask friends. <laughs> nah, something else happened. You know he uh, be fucking like he's scooting chairs. So. Mm-hmm. No. Who's going to like me? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, man? What? I class thousands, bitch, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Look, I'm going to say one thing. This was probably my most lit vlog. Um, shout out to the other people that did vlogs, but y'all know, y'all, I'm crazy, and I need crazy energy to match my craziness. I need somebody, you feel me, that I can say dick and pussy around, oh, wow. and they ain't gonna be looking at me crazy. Dick and puss. I know your, I know your family. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop doing that. Shout out to the white dude from Louisiana that was fucking home free. And he was not fucking home free. Shout out to the white dude from Louisiana that tried home free. Kawasaki. That's what's up. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. So, um, 
we're gonna wrap the vlog up, but we're definitely going to get social. So I'm gonna put them at the end, but you guys can shout them out too. My social six zero five. Oh my social media testing. Oh my bad. Just in case somebody wants to take the child support. Uh, y'all can follow me on Instagram King underscore Kyrie K Y R E I zero two. That's me. And y'all follow me on Instagram at this is underscore DJ TV. Not this, not D I S T H I S. We got the clones. I S again. <laughs> underscore no DJ TV. Follow your boy. It's your boy K Mitch. You can follow me on IG at K Mitch Got Jokes. You can also follow my OnlyFans at Sweet Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Dick what? What was that? Sweet Dick. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. We appreciate you. I love you guys. Love I've been yeah, wanting to work with them. They're really funny comedians from my city. Y'all already know I'm a funny comedian from my city. And I've been really wanting to work with people from my city because it's just, you know, empowerment, working together, building where you come from, and then going to other people and fucking up what they got going on. That's really the motive. You feel me? Like, I used to be so ashamed when I was younger from being from Bakersfield because of the reputation we had. But like I was saying in my vlog earlier, the reputation that we had is the reason why people respect us when we go places because they know they can't fuck with us. And Bakersfield really is a platform for you to do shit if you really want to. We got some good people that came out of here. So talent, comedians, producers, beat makers, whatever you want to do, videographers, y'all be sleeping on our city. So I'm gonna bring y'all all the latest people, all the rappers, everybody that I can bring y'all, all the people that's doing hot shit in the city. I wanna find out what everybody got going on, who running from who, who's sick, cause I know somebody out here sick. So I just wanna, you feel me, really just fuck with my city and make sure that y'all know that I fuck with my town. Because I know that gets misinterpreted the wrong way. But I'm from Bakersfield. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get that shit twisted. Don't get it twisted. Thanks. I'm from the town. Thanks. Thanks. So, town Rebbe. You feel me? So it's like at the end of the day, it made me who I am today. So I just really appreciate the class clowns. I appreciate you guys. Clear your throat, motherfucker. Yeah. Clear your throat. Because I'm, I'm worried. What the fuck? It is. Clear your throat. Bro, that shit really funny. Have, <laughs> they know I got a squeaky voice. I don't know why they do it. Niggas is coughing. <laughs> Shout out to the white people in Louisiana. No, fuck. I didn't even hear the call. Yes. You do got to stop calling. Some told me we should have this shit six feet apart. Six feet. Oh, no. Social distancing went bad. (laughs) Well, thank you. Last but not least, shout out to Clash Clash. Shout out to Clash Clash. Hey, y'all baby, stay tuned. All right, don't let this quarantine make y'all forget. We coming with shows. We coming with videos. We coming with all that. Shout out to the Clash Clowns. We not playing. Stay woke. We yes, sir. And stay safe, man, because it's dangerous out there. For yep. Sure. Hey, on the topic of staying safe, don't wear a mask and then be out here fucking raw. Yeah. Uh, see, I had a lot of good spots still in your heart. Never really had luck, could never figure out how to love. Yo. How to love. Yo. Yo. My shit, my shit, I, I got hustled for my shit. I went to like down in Virgil and paid like 15 for this. And all homies like, nigga, you could have got that shit for like, hey, cup. I know, right? Your shit, your no, shit, that shit had me, man. It's all different. I was like hurt, nigga. Everybody was like, nigga, you got hustled, but it's nice, though, cuz. He is strong, you know. I only got mine. He is strong. I want to get the second one, like a little, I think I'm going to get like a little $200 second one just to. That little one inside. You'd be like, nigga. You got money on y'all. Let me see if that goes. That is a nice, give me some nice ass necklaces. <laughs> Boy, quit looking at my titties, you creep. <laughs> you just got those, nigga. They don't like that. He was like, free, you got your titties now? And he was serious, I bitch. I she had mm, well, Nothing. She had little African huts. Nice. That's a little African, right? She had little African huts in high school. Now she got the. So you just wear the same. Ain't nothing wrong with an African hut. Let him know. So you just wear the same. Not even huts. Yeah, they're not a hut. She know what they is real. They're talking shit. Yeah. Suck on it. <laughs> he said, yeah, I mean, Why should I keep pointing DJ time I said something that? We said nasty shit too. <laughs> <laughs> we doing all this shit in. <laughs>
Wait till she leaned that shit there to me. That hurt my feelings. I saw that. We said hey, that hey, shit too. Hey, don't be reaching past me to touch this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he crazy. <laughs>